Hello people, I bring you another interesting news from the stable of everyday affairs. Now this is it, and it says, Something worse than Boko Haram may emerge. The Sultan warns. Alright, please, before I move forward on the news, I'd like to crave your indulgence to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. And peradventure you're coming across this channel for the very first time, I bid you welcome on board and I request that you please su subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you can get notification whenever we post a new story. Uh, thank you so much and welcome on board. Alright, the Sultan of Sokoto, Saad Abubakar, has warned that the North may witness a bigger catastrophe than the Boko Haram insurgency. He pointed out the level of offense in the region was alarming, saying it could snowball into something that will turn out to be worse than the Boko Haram. The Sultan also kicked against the establishment of an outfit in the region codenamed Operation Shege Kamfasa, cautioning elites not to allow youths take over their roles. The coalition of northern groups unveiled the outfit, outfit last Wednesday, declaring it would tackle crimes in the region. The outfit was launched one month after Southwest governors floated Amotekun, a regional security outfit. But speaking at a security meeting in Kaduna, Abubakar said, Northern elites are the problems of the region, as they have failed to provide them with good leadership. He advised the Northern elites to caution the youth, saying, if the elders fail to take the lead, the youth will do whatever they like and feel it is right. I saw it on the television and the media gave them attention. Now the elders allow these youths to go forward. So the elites are our problems. The elders are our problems. If the elders don't take the lead, the youths will do whatever they like and they will think they are right. You have to caution these youths by giving them good leadership, he said. He added, now that they have launched their own security outfit, I don't know what they call it, Sheke Kanfusa, meaning what? So I want to call on Northern Elders to caution them. Don't allow this youth to take over leadership from you. You have to reach out to everybody, no matter how low the person is. So I think we need to take the bull by the horns and not allow the youth to take over responsibility. I think we need to do that and much more," he said. All right, people, that's the news, and um, I would like to bring in my own contribution on this particular matter. Looking at what um, the Sultan of Sokoto has said, he has a very valid point because the truth of the matter remains that the number of orphans in the north is alarming. There are so much, so so much. They are called the Almajiris. And during the Good Luck Jonathan um, tenure, I remember vividly that um, he proposed to set up schools for the Almajiris. I think which he built some schools. I can't say how many number of schools were built for the Almajiris, but schools were built in all northern states, I presume. However, this Almajiri lifestyle has persisted in the north. Every nook and cranny of the north, every state, every community in the north has Almajiri. Name it, is it Sokoto State? Is it uh, KB State? Is it Kaduna State? Is it Kanu State? Is it um, Adamawa State? Is it Chigawa? Name it all. All the northern states have the Almajiris. What led to this Almajiris I can't say for sure, but you know the northern have a lifestyle of um, you know marrying more than one wife, you know one wife I beg your pardon, and um, you know putting giving 
uh, put into bed. It's um, so unfortunate that all these issues have bedwilled this country and it is very, 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 very unfortunate that the end result of this Almajari situation could be much worse than the Boko Haram issue that we are facing currently. The Sultan of Sokoto, Saad Abu Bakr, has sat down and possibly has seen far ahead and has begun to speak. Those in power should listen and take heed, or else the tragedy that would befall the northern part of the country and Nigeria at large would be so massive, only God can tell if it's going to be curtailed. The situation of things has gone bad and worse. Who knows how things will turn out to be? Daily you see them carrying plates of food, begging for food, begging for... They eat all sorts, different types of foods. They look um, malnourished. Some of them look malnourished. You know, some of them do odd jobs and they keep moving dirty clothes, tattered shoes here and there, moving from one destination to another just to look for what to eat. At the end of the day, how are we sure they are not the ones these Boko Haram guys are recruiting? The level of insecurity in this country is so porous, or the level of security is so porous. The level of insecurity has taken, has risen so high that no one is guaranteed safety. Something worse than Boko Haram might just be by the corner waiting to happen. How can this issue be tackled? One of the solutions is to try and eradicate these almajaris from the streets. Remove them from the streets. Whatever it's going to take. Another solution is tackle the is issue of insurgency and Boko Haram. Eliminate Boko Haram totally. So that these young ones do not get recruited. Once you give them what they want, food, clothes, shelter, the next thing they are going to do your beatings. Tackle the issue of Boko Haram. Communities that have been sacked from their communities, return them back, rebuild the communities. Return them back. Give them education. Give them good schools. Give them health care. Enlighten them on family planning and family training. These are some of the solutions to the problem of the North. If not, the North will not be the only ones to suffer it. All other parts of the country will suffer the effect of whatever may be looming somewhere. These things does not really have to be like this. The Sultan of Sokoto has come out to speak. Even before he spoke, I expect that the Nigerian government would have seen this ahead and planned to nip this situation into the board. Look at the, what happened at the Winners Chapel in Kaduna. Look at that young man. They tried to play politics with the situation, trying to say he was a Christian, that he was not a Muslim, he was a Christian. At last, it was revealed that he was a Muslim guy. Young guy came into the church with explosives. What were his aims? How did he get the explosive? Who sent him? How come he was even able to meangle and pass through um, security, pass through the church security and entered into the church? If not that he was discovered on time, just maybe on time, he probably would have exploded or blown the explosive and, you know, in the process, killed or taken along as many people as possible and injured many or leave many injured. This issue is not just for one person. As it is, if there is no solution provided, it can be guaranteed or said that no one is safe in the country. Not even the president. Nigeria is probably sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Who will deliver Nigeria from this insurgence? Who will deliver Nigeria from exploding? 
who will deliver Nigeria from the myriad of challenges that is facing Nigeria? If Buhari does not know what to do or doesn't have the solution or he seems tired, he should resign and let somebody else take over. These are my views and my thoughts on this particular news story. I'd like to hear from you what your thoughts are. Please don't forget to drop by the comment section to let us know what your thoughts are. And also, please don't forget to share this news story with friends and families. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.